In the last lecture, we briefly talked about main.ts file of our Nest.js application. So we learned that when we start the Nest.js application, the first file which gets executed is the main.ts file. Let's go to VS Code. And here, if we go to the source folder, there you will see that we have this main.ts file. If I open this main.ts file, this is the content of main.ts file. And it is this file which is the entry point of any Nest.js application. Whenever we start our Nest.js application, the first file which gets executed is this main.ts file. And from this main.ts file, all other components like the modules, the controllers, the providers. So basically all other components of our Nest.js application is bootstrapped. So before we proceed further, let's try to understand how Nest.js bootstraps all other components of Nest.js application. So at the top, you will see that first of all, we are importing this Nest factory from Nest.js slash co. So this Nest.js slash co is a package. And from that package, we are importing Nest factory. And then we are also importing app module from this file location. So here we have this app module.ts file. This is present in the source directory. So from here, inside this app module.ts file, we are creating this app module class. So we are importing that app module class inside this main.ts file. Then we are creating this bootstrap function. And this function is going to run asynchronously. So that's why we have used this async keyword. Now inside this function, what we are doing is we are calling this create method on this nest factory. It is the same nest factory which we have imported from nest.js slash co. So this nest factory class, it is providing us this create method. And to that create method, we are passing the root module of our application as its argument. In this nest.js application, inside this app module.ts file, we have this app module class. So this is the root module of our Nest.js application. And we are passing this app module class to this create method of Nest factory. Now what it is going to do is, it is going to create an instance of Nest application, which will represent the core of our Nest.js application. Basically here you can say that using this create method, we are creating an instance of Nest.js application and we are assigning it to this app variable. And when we are creating the instance of the Nest.js application, we are passing our root module to this create method. So in this way, our Nest.js application, when it is created, when an instance of this Nest.js application is created, it is aware about this app module. So if I go to app module.ts file, since we have bootstrapped this app module class, our Nest.js application is aware about this app module class. And as you can see, this app module class is decorated with at module decorator. And to that, we are passing some metadata. Okay. And in that metadata, we are specifying that for this app module, the controller is this app controller and the providers is this app service. So since our Nest.js application knows about this app module, now it also knows about this app controller class and this app service class. Okay. Then if we create some user defined modules in our Nest.js application, which we are going to do in our coming lectures, those user defined modules should also be imported inside this app module.ts file inside this app module because Nest.js application is only aware about this app module. If we create some user defined modules in the future, we need to make Nest.js application aware about those modules as well. And to do that, we need to import those user defined modules inside this imports array so that Nest.js application will be aware about those modules also. If we don't do that, we will not be able to use the user defined modules which we will create in the future because Nest.js application will not know about those modules. 
so this is how the bootstrapping of nest.js application happens in the main.ts file we specify the root module of our application so nest.js knows about this root module in this case this app module and from this root module nest.js is also aware about this app controller and this app service and if in future we create any user defined modules we will import it inside this import array so the nest.js application will also be aware about those modules and in those modules also we will have their specific controllers and services so nest.js application will know about those controllers and services as well now let's go back to main.ts file so here we have bootstrapped our application by simply specifying the root module of our nest.js application and when we have specified root module the nest.js application will be aware about all other modules which is imported inside this app module and their controllers and providers after that what we are doing is on this app method we are calling this listen method and using this listen method we are going to listen to requests on this port number okay so whenever a new request will come to our nest.js application it will be listening to those requests at port number 3000 so if you go to the browser you will see that our nest.js application is listening to requests on port number 3000 and that's why you will see this hello world message displayed here if i go back and if i change this port number to something else let's say 3300 and if i save the changes first of all when i have saved the changes since we are running our application in watch mode every time we save some changes in our application it will be automatically compiled okay so you see we don't have any errors and now if we go back to the browser and if we reload the page at port number 3000 since now our nest.js application is not running on port number 3000 you will see that we have this error but if i change this port number to 3300 instead of 3000 where our nest.js application is running and if i press enter you will see that now we are able to see that message okay so now our application is running at port number 3300 so this is where we can specify the port number of our application where the nest.js application will be running so I have reverted back the changes and I have changed it back to 3000. Let's save the changes again. And when I have saved the changes again, the nest.js application will be recompiled and it will be re-executed. So let's go back to the browser and now let's try to access that application on port number 3000. And we have this message. All right. Now from where this message is coming. So app module is our root module. If we go to app module.ts file, for that app module, we have one controller, which is this app controller, and we have one service, which is this app service. Now, every module will have two main files, the controller file and the provider file. The provider is basically the service. In the controller file, we write the action methods, which will be responsible for handling a request. So for example, if I go to app controller.ts, here we have written a method and this method is going to handle any request which is going to come on root url currently this url is the root url so any request which will come to the root url and if that request type is get so here we are making a get request to this url so if the request type is get and if the URL is the root URL, this action method is going to handle that request. It is going to take that request. It is going to process that request. And this method is going to return a response. So in this case, when the request will come to the root URL, this method will be called. And internally, this method is going to call the get hello method of app service. As you can see inside this app controller class, we are injecting an instance of app service class now we will talk about dependency injection in great detail in our coming lectures but here just understand that we are asking nest.js application to insert an instance of this app service class inside this app controller and on that instance we are calling the get hello method so this get hello method will be called on the instance of this app service 
and if we go to app service.ts there we have this app service class and inside that we have this get hello method so this method will be called and all this method is doing is it is returning this text okay so if i go ahead and if i change this text to let's say hello from nest.js app if we save the changes now let's first go to terminal and you will see that the application has been compiled successfully let's go back to the browser and if i refresh the page we should see that message hello from nest.js app okay now let's go back again to main.ts file and there as i mentioned we are listing on this port number 3000 now here we have only one configuration right now and that is we are listing on port number 3000 now just like how we have configured this port number here in the same way we can also configure other configurations inside this bootstrap function on this app for example we can enable course on this app if you want to use some middleware we will have to specify those middlewares here and we can do many other configurations like we can set the view engine we can specify how we want to handle the static files and many more things okay and this listen method on this app it is going to start the http server and makes this nest.js application available for incoming requests so let me also show you what this app object looks like for that let's go ahead and let's write a console.log statement and there we want to log app object once i save the changes this application will be recompiled and it will be re-executed and when we are logging this app object here it will be logged in the terminal where we are running our application currently we are running it in command prompt here and here you will see that these are the properties of that app object as you can see how heavy this app object is so there are a lot of properties on this app object which we are going to use in our coming lectures okay so you see how heavy this app object is all right so this is how that app object looks like but anyway let's go back and let's remove this console.log statement let's save the changes again so in this lecture we learned how nest.js application is bootstrapped from main.ts file now in the main.ts file we learned that nest.js application bootstraps this app module and from there everything else starts so in the next lecture let's understand what is a module in nest.js application and what do we use it for now just to recap whenever we start our nest.js app first of all it is going to execute main.ts file now in the main.ts file we are bootstrapping our main module the root module of our nest.js application and usually we call it as app module.ts file so here the main.ts file is bootstrapping this app module.ts file and this main.ts file is also responsible for starting the server by using the listen method on the app object which we create using the create method and to that we pass the port number on which our application should be running and then in the main.ts we can also do other configurations like setting up the course or specifying how you want to handle static files etc now from the app module.ts file the nest.js application will also come to know about the main controller the root controller of our application it will come to know about all the services which has the business logic for the root controller and in the root module file we are also going to import all other user defined modules of our application so that the nest.js application will be aware about those user defined modules i hope the concept of bootstrapping of nest.js application is clear to you this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day